Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time since I made a video. I think my last video was back in July. So I apologize for my absence, but I did make the time to give you guys a favorites video. Um, it's not a particular month favorites. Um, I, I kind of want to just, um, just show you a couple of new things that I've picked up and a couple of things that I've been using a lot as of recently. Over the past couple weeks and months and stuff that I've actually just realized I really, really, really do like. And they, you know, became part of my everyday routine and, you know, some of them became part of my makeup routine. So I want to share that with you guys. Uh, into this, so if you guys would like to see what my favorites are, keep watching. I'm going to move. I have a couple of things just laid out here. So I think I want to start off with the skincare routine. I just have a skincare routine that works for me. Um, I'm not a consistent person with skincare, which is really bad because I am a makeup artist, but um, I don't know. I just know my skin. My skin's really weird. So it's far from oily, but I can get oily and then um, it can get super, super dry. It can get irritated. Like I've had breakouts like crazy. I've had uh, super, super crazy allergic reactions. Like I had one actually last week. I had an allergic reaction to this e.l.f. mascara that I purchased. Um, I I mean, I like e.l.f. I think it's super affordable. Who does obviously doesn't like affordable makeup? Long story short, my skin is just super weird. So, so for skincare, I like to exfoliate with the Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. Um, I kind of do this probably like every day if I wear makeup. But I heard you're not supposed to exfoliate every day. And I do because... I wear makeup a lot. I just like how it leaves my skin feeling super, super fresh and I feel like all my pores are just open. It's like, I step outside and everything's just like, oh, I just, just love it. it. I love the clean, clean feeling. So this is what I use to clean my face with. And I actually, when I'm, before I do my makeup, I like to prep with this as well. So like exfoliate my skin, use um, a moisturizer, let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes, and then I apply my foundation. So this is what I use to clean my face. And I have two moisturizers that I kind of use. I like, I can't use too much of this, but I do like Youth Code. When my skin is acting up, I won't use Youth Code because my skin hates Youth Code when um, I'm breaking out or just when it's being weird. But I do like it when my skin's acting right. So I use it. I just skipped over what it was. But it works best with my face when my skin is just acting right and it actually likes me. The second moisturizer that I actually really, really like is the Facial Moisturizer Hydration by Luminant Skin Care. Luminant Skin Care sent me a couple things this summer. Uh, two of these... I can't remember. They sent me a bar soap. They sent me... They sent me two moisturizers, a face wash, and... Oh, and a toner. One thing uh, I like about um, Luminant Skin Care, all their products are organic. Um vegan cruelty free all that good stuff no paraben no. i like it and you can just smell what they use in it like banana baby food yeah and i and that's why i like it so much but i do like the hydration um they sent me one that was a deep moisture i don't really like that one on my face because it's too heavy on my face and i kind of broke out after that but basically i have sensitive skin i have sensitive skin i'm just gonna say that because my face obviously breaks out with everything but i have sensitive skin but i use the deep moisturizer actually on my body because I did speak to the owner of Luminant Skin Care gave me a call and told me how to use everything and what, how I'm supposed to use it correctly and what I'm supposed to use it with he did definitely did tell me that I could use the deep moisture on my body because I wasn't a fan of it on my face so I just stuck with the um, facial moisturizer hydration a lot for my face I'll use this after my Luminant Clear deep action exfoliating scrub so I'll use that and then I'll use this after I like to put some before I go to sleep because it does kind of leave my skin a little oily and I don't like applying makeup after it because it kind of just makes it like my foundation feel slimy and I don't like the way that feels but I'll do this as moisturizer before I go to sleep so, so the mask that I like to use is the Freeman feeling beautiful avocado oatmeal clay mask it says normal to combo skin deep cleans and purifies pores I like this because it's not harsh I can feel it working it leaves my face super super clean um, it's definitely something that I really do like and it smells pretty good too you can get the face mask the clean and clear and the l'oreal youth code all at cvs and walgreens um this one might be a little bit pricey for cvs and walgreens but everything else is about under 10 bucks so you know feel free to 
shoot on over there and grab those. Take care. If you guys do want to try these, and I do recommend their other products, I just, I think I lost a few. For the most part, when I did use their products, I did like them. So I can link their website below if you guys do want to try it. Um, I would definitely recommend the facial moisturizer, the hydration, and their barb soap. I, I definitely liked both. So I'm gonna just quickly mention something that I use on my body. Oh, um, I like to just mix in the Neutrogena Body Oil Light Sesame Formula with any lotion that I use. Um, I feel like it just gives a little bit extra hydration to your skin and leaves your skin feeling super, super soft and the sesame scent smells amazing. So just wanna quickly just throw that in there with the skincare routine. So moving along to hair, I have two things I just want to talk about. It's not much, but before we get into the fun makeup stuff, I have told a lot of people about these two products here. So I went ahead and I picked up this Proclaim Argon Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. This is my holy grail hair product. I will never use another deep conditioner ever in life well, until I find a better one. But as of right now, this is my favorite, favorite hair mask. So what I do is I like to mix the Jamaican black castor oil with this in my palm. And rub it together, work it through my hair, and I was throwing a bun and go to sleep. And I repeat that almost every day of the week. And I put castor oil in my hair so much. I, I literally drench my hair in castor oil for a week straight. And then the next week I'll just straighten my hair and then the next week I'll do my protective style with these two and I just repeat so on and so on. So now, on to the fun part, makeup. Um, I went to CVS and Walgreens the other day and seen that they had a couple sales going on. I got my Maybelline Fit Me foundation for $3.99. I'm in color 340 and I like, in the winter I like to mix True Match N7 and Maybelline Fit Me 340 because I feel like it kind of lightens 340 a bit. I can't really use 330 on my skin because it's a little too light for me. If you do have dry skin, I recommend 340 because it kind of does leave your skin a little dewy. But I like to balance it out and mix it with the L'Oreal True Match. Next is the Anastasia Contour Kit. And you guys are going to see that I'm almost done with this because I have used it almost every day of life since I purchased it. So obviously you can see that I love the banana powder in these two brown colors here. I, yeah. I can't pop it out. Which one? This one. These. Can you wait? Yes. the Anastasia Contour Kit Palette and obviously I've used mine to death and I used three missing colors. Um, for my under eye highlight I like to use the banana powder which I'm literally like completely done with. For my sculpting I like to use the color Java and Havana. These are the two that I use. For, the, for my highlight, um, I do use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in I think NW25. And some people like to set their highlights with the Ben Eye Powder. When I went to Ulta, the lady that, the sales associate actually found me a dupe for the Ben Eye Powder. And I was kind of on the fence about using a dupe because I've never used the Ben Eye Powder. So I didn't know what to, you know, kind of compare it to. So as of recently, I've been using the powder that I bought back in March finally decided to use it. It's the Napoleon Banana Powder. Um, it's a mattifying mineral powder. And for like more of like an everyday, I'll use the yellow banana powder in the contour palette. But when I am going out and I want more of a brighter face, I'll use the, powder, the mattifying mineral powder. For my face, I use Maybelline Fit Me 340, of course. And I got this at 419 at my Walgreens. I like to compare this to the MAC MSF powder. And if I want a deeper contour, I'll just go ahead with the 360 powder Maybelline Fit Me as well. For my cheeks, what I have my cheeks right now is the Milani Big Blush. I do, I do like it. I'm not really into the super, super pink cheeks. I like more of peachy tones, but I like that this has a natural highlight um, in it. And this is I do like this a lot. My sister's calling me and I have to pick up. The number 02, Rosy Uru. So, I could do a nice little swatch. So that's that. It has a really pretty gold iridescent to it. And I'm like really into gold iridescence now, but it's really cute. I like it a lot. 
Thank you guys. So my newest purchase is the Lorac Pro Palette. I did just recently purchase it and let me tell you, I do like the color payoff. I feel like it's worth the money. Uh, my favorites are Beige Rose Mocha, Jade Plum Navy, and Cocoa. But Jade drives me nuts. Like This color right here literally drives me insane. I think it's so pretty and the color, it's so pigmented. <sighs> That's like a true olive green. Okay, next I'm going to talk about three lip colors. So I was pretty shocked with the NYC lipstick. This is Mahogany. It's NYC lipstick. It's a super, super, super shiny lip color, but it's really pigmented and really pretty. So I have yet to play with this, but I do like it. The swatch is beautiful, so I can't wait to use this. But it was $0.99 cents at CVS, so I was all over it. Next color I grabbed was the Milani number 21 Sangria. And it's a dupe for something. I just can't figure it out yet. But they're super, super smooth and really pigmented. And they smell good. So that's Sangria. And that's Mahogany. And what I have on my lips now is this Butter London Gloss. This Lippy Gloss in WAG. It has a really pretty gold iridescent. It's like a rose gold lip color that kind of goes really good with my blush and paired with the correct liner you cannot go wrong with that this is it so pretty i just had a mouthful that wraps it up for my favorites video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys please don't forget to share like and subscribe if you have not subscribed already and until next time bye guys